What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be playing Final Fantasy 16 again. And this is part 5 of me playing it. So if you're going to enjoy this, make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get started. So, so far, so good. I really like this game. I think this might be my favorite game I've played this year, but I don't know about that since Half-Life 2 is my favorite. And pretty soon at November, it's going to be the 20 year anniversary of Half-Life 2. And I'm going to be doing like a stream of me playing Half-Life 2. And I can't promise like it's going to be a full game. But I will play it at least. Like maybe I'll stream for probably 5 hours. trouble on the way none worth mentioning as i was telling jill it's worse than i thought the capital's crawling with soldiers and here i am the deserter come home which is why we'll be taking the back door <laughs> Cheer up, you two. Can't think of a safer place in the Empire than it. I heard moaning and I thought there was gonna show us like some sex, but no. So then, how do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a star. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this? Fatal chink in the Empire's armor. Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by the helmet, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is... If the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. <laughs> an outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. 
If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. All right, let's do this. When you reach Pavna, the story if. men here then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do this bodes well <laughs> that'll be a first this may not be such a terrible plan after all and what exactly is that supposed to mean only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed yeah, but that's half the fun of it life's too short for perfect plans you want a plan that'll keep you on your toes stop you growing old and complacent Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. The Crystal Curse. Come on, this way. Trying to stay out of sight. Obviously. Yes, who's with me? Oh, I can have four people with me? Okay. Don't worry, the passage is empty. Yeah, 
a It never stood a chance. You're welcome. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. Good things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. Captain, two arms! Summon the cannoneer! <laughs> At one! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. I was talking about earlier. What have we here? More insects come to be squashed. You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. We were talking. Then let's shut him up.
Odds, but I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else. Doesn't look that far. Right. I used to be. I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side, eh? At least you won't get lost. Oh, one second, I need to check something.
All right, guys, I'm back. Let's continue. Wrong place. First, I'm just go back here and check what's over here.
Let's either replace that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. On the count of three. Three. What happened to two? Ask one. Once more. Aye, seeing as you're trying now. As if that was going to keep us out. The crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. There's no one about. I knew it would be big, but this. There, that's our way into the inner sanctum. I think they'd have patched that up by now. Sorry, state the empire's in. Wait. You don't mean... Aye. My little game of hide-and-seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. But how did he make it out alive? Walked. You should try it. Gate be here in the mines. Are the two places connected somehow?
I just need to get a few more just for that. Like probably 2,000 or about, I think 1,000 more. When I was in the Imperial Army, soldiers assigned to the glass gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardian. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Let's just be careful then. <sighs> Wow, this is a really good battlefield. I knew it. Where did that come from? From that. If I had to guess. Poor beast. Another victim of the flood. The fight he'll get. Always. Ugh! 
we off to now? Clive, look out! Not this time. I can't believe I actually dodged that. There. Sanctum lies just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. Clive. Yeah. If the 
this all works and the blessing fades, things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after, by which I mean hunted. I just hope in the end they'll see that we didn't have any other choice, that it was the only way to get us to a better place. Then here I was thinking I was the uncertain one. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. Then it all starts here. Oh, but Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? With you to the end, Sid. Then what are we waiting That's where we are. That's my thumbnail. Wreck. Well, that didn't work. I think we're going to need a bigger sword. Mine's bigger. Thank you, Clive. But I meant that figuratively. The core's clearly made of sterner stuff. Taya's going to have a fit when she hears about this. Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. He's gonna turn to Zeus? He's turning it to Zeus! He's Zeus! Black hole. All right. Shit. Ah, it's a girl from Ring. I need a freight. Come to me. I can't do this without you.
back. You again? Where are you? What do you want? Fuck. It's still alive. Isn't yours.
Oh! Hell yeah! I'm free! I can jump. Firelight is a heal. Oh. Wait, hold on one second. What the? What? What? How many more could there be? Oh god
it just turned it's just turned cooler. Well as you wish. I'm laughing. Just I remember this scene from a video I've watched, and it's just funny. <laughs>
Okay, let's see what you got. Hellfire. Damn it, I missed. Enjoy your nap. You're wounded. This? It's only a scratch. All right, the hole. We'll... we'll find you a healer. 
Here. No, you won't. Oh. I know who you are. And if you think I'm gonna let you have him. Think again. Try not to talk. Clive, for so long, I thought I had all the answers. But then I met you, and I learned it wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but a better life. It's all very well, a man. Reclaiming his fate. But if he can't choose how he meets it, what's the point? So, I made a choice. RIP said In ashen grip let ember glow oh. to kindle flames anew Well, don't just stand there, Joshua. Do something. I'm sorry, Clive. Had I a 
arrived but a moment sooner. Do you remember me, boy? Of course. I saw you protect them. That was very brave. I know you're there, Ultima. You have learned our name. What else have you learned, Phoenix? My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. That's what I want to hear. Very well. Breath of mine ancestors. Fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. <laughs> this is getting us nowhere. Might as well fight him. Agree. No more games, Phoenix. Ah! Oh! We have come to claim our vessel. And I said no. Yes. That's what I want to hear. Let's go, Joshua. These flames are nothing. You will know what it is to burn. Yours is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. Huh. Reunion? Reunion? These are not flames of destruction. Have you forgotten already who I am? Took up a lot of energy. Just try and get to my brother now. Fiend. Lawless. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
It is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? That won't be necessary. Uh, uh, uh. A Titan. Set is dead. The finest silks from the master weavers of Randela. Come, come, feel its softness. Chop the Make a nice gift for your wife. Sausage, all from greens-fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. Fun fact, this is what Arabian countries used to look like. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. curatives, restoratives. Look all you like, sir. It's all fresh. Pick this very morning. Restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Armatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, my lady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Curatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Curatives, curatives, restoratives. Five years later, why? Year of the realm is eight seven eight. It's good to see you, Sid. Wait, Sid is alive? What have we learned? The bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kuka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer. That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. 
Okay, so he is. So his name is gonna be Sid as a disguise name when his real name is actually Clive. Okay. I kind of want to watch Aladdin again. Please, we don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. <laughs> It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him! The outlaw. Sit here! Let's test out Sid's power. I'll fix my camera. Enough of this. Let him play with the kitten. The kitten. They brought a pet.
Peter. Anyone's next? To hell with this. <laughs> That's what I thought. They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. friends are dead because of you what do you hear me they used us as bait bait to lure you out of your stinking hole all because you couldn't just let things be what are you even doing here we never asked to be saved did you think well you clearly wanted to they'll never forgive us we're all mugged now For five years we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. Well, then who's gonna help you guys if you guys get attacked? Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. And clearly it's not. Around. Don't worry, they're gonna crawl back for help. If you say so. We should go. Yeah. ago we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope for a reason they'll never know we cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery though it's to give them a better tomorrow they see only that we've made their lives harder today yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal i can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice you're dead when Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. We all do. A world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want, and that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds, home sweet home.
What's up? Hold on. Problem fixed, I think. Yep, fixed. Home sweet home. Otto was awesome. I need six hundred more. Off to you. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment. Welcome back, sir. Finish with that laugh. So we... Okay. Wait, where is Joe? This morning, Victor sends his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Coop will miss the he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. First, sir. I hope you don't mind, sir. I changed the linen of your chambers while you were away. First, I want to know where I can get like new sword. Actually, wrong. Well, right. Here. She looks cool. I'm like that. Not bad. If I do say so myself. Anything else? Is it business or pleasure? Finished. Are you? Wait, actually, I want to check here. Okay, let's actually go. Hold on, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Alright, I'm back. Let's continue. and not intruding back from your mission I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone one might say the same of you Vivian Ninetales I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life 
a nun was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Oh, backstory. I think. Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambrekwa boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the crystalline dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire, the Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, and of course, our friends in Yaran. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now. As to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me, and we shall consider ourselves even. Even. Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Norseman Harpocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same, but alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head, but without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. 
You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> The twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they I'm hide certain. it. Guys, Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Damn it, I'm too yeah, late. Too soon. I'm too late. I should get some rest while I can. I was trying to look on Amazon though if there is a PS5 plate for Final Fantasy 16, but I was too late. You know what? I think I might go displate to get a PS5 plate. Not back a blink, and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like... to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right. I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. A second. What could you have of thought worthy of a letter? Once the hall swept, it's over to the tavern crown for me. Still smitten with the sun, are you? Again, I can't read. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance, the one we've been waiting for. Look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain. War after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. 
It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. Eh. He is alive. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. Just said. Joshua. So the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this, this is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? I want to see a reunion between Joshua and Clive. Master Clive, a moment, if you... Oh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... Intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. What would make Martha leave the rest? <sighs> what do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip around the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, 
You might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Let's get you to a physical video, boy. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes. <sighs> They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jid and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Okay. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. That's a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Wait, where's the dog? Damn it! Oh, oh. Good boy. I love you. When did you get so big? who need you you have to do something tell us what happened what happened the damn black shields that's what happened the black shields the bastards caught wind the abbot and i were helping bearers they were gonna hang us both when the sick rose from their beds poor souls turned on the imperials distracted them long enough for me to get away then they may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far, even for the Empire.
Are we too late? Let's hope not. Be someone inside. Oh. No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. Oh. Uh. And for their crimes shall they be punished. The Black Shield. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. They <laughs> Okay, I think I understand how this works now. There you go. Quest complete. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. The bearers died protecting him, calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. Hmm? Friends of Martha, we're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg Sid's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I, I shall. Where are 
are you? In here. We found a survivor. Clive. He's gone. Oh. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bears, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't, but it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Right. New quest. I see what that was. <sighs> I gotta be honest. This is the greatest game I've ever played. Like, remember that meme from Dwayne The Rock Johnson, where he said it's the biggest piece of dog crap? Well, this isn't the biggest piece of dog crap. I remember that meme where a... Remember... Yeah. Let me, let me say it again, okay? Remember that meme where a black guy said, That's what I'm talking about! That's why it's me! That's why it's a goat! The goat! Ranked C? Okay. You know what? Screw it out, fight. Wait, what? It's level 20. What am I saying? Of course it has. It's a floating eyeball. Get it, get it! I'm back.
Die! Worth it. You didn't see that coming. Better already. Ah. <sighs> Worth it. That must be the bridge. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. Hey, baby. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Oh, you couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago of black clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. 
And in ordinary times, you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. Quest complete. Return to the hideaway. Oh, wrong button. Nah, no, right button. Now, where's Gav? Oh, I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words be ruled, pal Gav? These kind words you're after, fishing in the wrong boat. <coughs> no, 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 I can't. Remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Orther. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironhome. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinside, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Cuckoo would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rosfield. Lord <laughs> Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait, 
Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for, eh? for indeed I think I might end the video here thank you for watching do not forget to like subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye bye everybody